The U.S. Supreme Court has ruled on arbitration in the workplace. What that means to workers next on your Labor Minute. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison. In a 5-4 ruling last week, the Supreme Court's conservative majority ruled that employers may now require workers to settle employment disputes through individual arbitration rather than joining together as a group to file complaints through the legal system. Speaking on behalf of the National Women's Law Center, Fatima Gross Graves said employees may now be forced behind closed doors into an individual, costly, and often secret arbitration process, adding this will stack the deck in favor of employers. If ever the impact of the 2016 election was evident in the judiciary of this country, this would be the case, as Trump appointee Justice Neil Gorsuch authored the ruling, saying the question of arbitration in the workplace was of logical reading of the federal law. Now, the Obama administration and the National Labor Relations Board had previously backed workers from having to submit to mandatory arbitration rather than bringing a lawsuit, oftentimes as a group. But since President Trump has been in office, the Justice and Labor Departments have swung away from workers and sided mostly with business interests. The ruling will prohibit class action suits against corporations by workers and follows on the ruling by the courts earlier in this session, which now permits corporations to require consumers to enter arbitration over disputes with companies rather than bringing class action lawsuits. It's important to note this case involves only non-union workers, at least for now. I'm Mark Harrison with your Labor Minutes.